Hi, I'm Chris Thomas, here to help introduce our new Americana series. Joining me are Fred Green and Tim Teal from the Martin Custom Shop. I'm Fred Green with Martin Guitar. I'm here with Tim Teal, Director of Design. Nice to have you, Tim. I finally get you out of your design cave. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't let Tim out too often. <laughs> uh, so what we have here today are uh, some new guitars, a new 16 series for 2017, something very, very different, some few design elements that you're bringing forward that we've never done before, trying to sort of revitalize that 16 series, give it something fresh and something right. different. One of, the, one of the key elements of this, I, I know you want to talk about a little bit, is our choice of woods in terms of back and sides on these particular guitars, sure. because this is very, very different from what we normally do. Yeah. Um, we did actually uh, do a very nice sycamore for the back and sides. So and this particular guitar is a D cutaway sycamore, so we right. really want to get into the American hardwoods here, yep. and these guitars for the first time, right. and a series of guitars with American hardwoods on the back and sides. Uh, why sycamore? What, what about sycamore did you find so compelling that you really want to see on these guitars? We found that sycamore worked really good with the dreadnought body shape. We did another model in the past, uh, like a D18 sycamore. Right. And it had a beautiful tone to it. Everybody raved about it. I remember that. Yeah. I remember we did like a custom, we did a, a mm -hmm. few pieces with it. And I remember some of the guys from the, the, from the owners from the forums and from the owner, owners club came out to us and they were really in love with the way that sycamore sounded yeah. on these particular guitars. So one of the things I'm noticing here is that guitar is different than a normal D. Ah, it is. And that's a very good point to bring out. Uh, a long time ago, we did a couple models right. with a, a very thin uh, depth, a triple O depth. So that's a triple O depth it's a triple D. O depth, yeah. And the nice feature, or the nice compliment of that, is that when you play it, it's very comfortable. You don't have to reach around the guitar right. as far. Yeah, I know some people struggle with the D guitar because it is, it is a big guitar. It's a big guitar. It's a big yeah. guitar. So by keeping, it more, by keeping it thinner, when you stand up with it and you have mm -hmm. a you know, a strap on, it, it feels a little more comfortable, a little more like an electric guitar. Absolutely. Kind of move around with it so you don't feel like you're out here right. on top of it. Now, one of the other things I notice here is, is the binding. Yeah. This is really different. So I know you and I kind of worked a little bit together on this particular piece right. in, in terms of the silver binding on right. here because we loved the aluminum binding. You've done some guitars yes. with aluminum before, correct? Yeah, I, I, when we were talking about it, you were like, you know, I love the look of this car interior with the aluminum and this color wood. Right. And can we do aluminum, bi aluminum binding? And I was like, well, you know, we did this before and it's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> it is, it was really, really difficult to do. The aluminum doesn't want to adhere correctly. Right. Sanding it takes forever. So we took a special trip and found a very, very good replacement for aluminum. Right. So this is a, this is a so this is a silver plastic material yes, binding. Yes, it's, it's like an acrylic. acrylic. It's an acrylic, and Tim and I were really sitting around looking at inspirational photos. And sometimes when we're designing guitars and we really want to do something different, like we wanted to do with these 16s, which is give them a more modern feel, we were sort of looking at things that we get excited about. Right. And, and other products, and one of them was the interior of an Audi. Yeah. To be honest with you, it was a, it was a beautiful piece, and it had all this beautiful brushed aluminum inside, and a, and a small little bit of orange pinstriping uh, against a really soft brown finish. And I, I brought it to Tim, and I says, "Dude, I said this is this is what I want our guitar to look like. Can you can you make me a guitar that looks like this?" incorporate the woods that you want to incorporate right. in the guitar. And I really think you pulled it off. I mean, it, it's a really gorgeous piece. I, I do notice there's a little bit of orange yeah. pinstripe. We did that around the outside and also in, in, the, the, rosette. in the rosette. Yeah. And if you turn it sideways, I think you can see that the fingerboard is bound, which, and it says the heel cap. And also the heel cap, correct. Right. And the binding on the fingerboard doesn't come across the bottom of the no, board it to, rolls off. To do a more contemporary feel to the design, right. we kept it short and we just bull nose the edge. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Those tuning machines oh, yeah. set it. What what those are awesome. So those are the grand tune tuning machines from Schaller. I love um, that finish on it. We used them in the past on, on some other models, but this is a, a new finish that uh, they were able to offer us. 
Mm. I think they call it satin pearl. Satin pearl? Yeah. Mm, that's appropriate. I love it. That's, that's pretty cool. Now, so we got a D cutaway, uh, triple O depth. Right. We also going to make this with a uh, non cutaway version. That's correct. Electronics? Electronics. We got the Matrix VT Enhance, which, awesome. you know, stage ready. Love that. Ready to go. Perfect. Ready to go. And we also have the same guitar in an OM. We do. So this is the OM that I'm holding right here, but the OM has a different back and side. Correct. Am I correct? We wanted to go with uh, certified uh, cherry. And this is a Pennsylvania hardwood, so this actually comes from a forest nearby. Right. And it, it has a very uh, warm tone for a smaller body, so it's a good balance. So we got two different kinds of woods mm -hmm. that we're working with here. So with sycamores on the Ds, cherries on the OMs, the Ds are triple O depth, silver binding, grand tunes, yeah. electronics. Ebony for the fingerboard and bridge Ebony. and head plate. The small orange highlight around just, just enough mm -hmm. to set it off yeah. so it doesn't get lost in there. And Beautiful guitars. The other thing we did too with the bridge pins, we're using the Graf Tech um, Tusk oh, really? bridge pins. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So it gives a little shimmer to the a sound. A little more sound. You yeah. did sound testing on, the, on Absolutely. those? Absolutely. Yeah. It made a difference. Yeah. Wow, cool. So we, a little more know, volume? Uh, a little bit more, but it also uh, has a nice bright shimmer to the sound. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, so it brightens it up a little bit. Brightens it up just a little so, bit. So it's a very modern piece. I know this is a very modern yes. piece. It's a little something different. The idea here was we didn't really want to do another guitar that looked like every other guitar we do no. at a different price. These are gloss tops, satin they on are. the back sides, yes. but gloss on the top. We wanted to sort of bring something modern, some new elements into the guitars. Uh, something to, when you walk into your guitar store, it looks a little bit different. It doesn't look like everything else you see That's on the right. wall. Uh, different woods, different tones, different feels. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you've captured it perfectly. Oh, great thanks. job. <laughs> well done. It was great working with you on, on the whole concept. <laughs> Get out to your Martin dealer. We'll be introducing these guitars 2017, uh, NAMM show in Anaheim. Uh, go visit your dealer. Try them out. I think you're really going to be surprised. These are fantastic guitars, very modern, uh, very special feeling instruments. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. Thank you.